Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Uh, quick Sunday video for you. Thanks for tuning in as always. Really like interacting with everybody. Uh, I'm going to show a bunch of stuff that uh, I picked up recently. Leave a, a comment or a like or subscribe uh, if you're new to the channel. I always forget to say that, but I guess I should say that. Um, and uh, again, really appreciate all of your content. And I watch a lot of stuff. And I try to like stuff. And I try to comment. But um, just know that I'm watching your stuff and I appreciate it. So um, here's some stuff that I'm picking up. Um, and having a lot of fun doing it one of the things i've really focused on kind of keeping collecting fun at a modest budget is i've been working on the tops blacks to 67 and specifically from 2019 tops really any series one two or the update but i love this design and i really fell back in love with the hobby in early 2019, kind of before the boom. And this was the set that was out. And so, I don't know, there's just lots of reasons why I like the set, but um, I just think 67 is a cool, um, kind of lower print run on these cards. And, um, you know, not to 10 or 25 or something like that, but I just think it's kind of neat. So I've been working on those and picking, I'll show you a few as we get into this. Um, I picked up, a couple more Trent Grishams from um, 2020 um, update. I had broken some of this and, and got a couple, but I picked up a couple more. And just because they're rookies, so there's actually two in this um, top loader. It's funny because sometimes you can use car top loaders and then you get these from sellers that are like old yellow ones. And so these are the ones that are good to ship in, I guess. Um, so anyway, picked up that Grisham. Here's a bunch more blacks. Let me show you these so you can see that I've been busy picking these up from 2019. It's, it's fun. There's an Edwin en Encarnacion. And to 67. Felipe Vasquez to 67. Greg Allen. So I haven't been picking up you know, superstars. I think those cards are going to be more expensive if I really want to finish out the set. But there's David Dahl. Uh, I got to get that one in a top loader. It's making me nervous. Matt Albers in a black top loader. That's cool. That might be a cool way to do these. And Sergio Romo. So it's kind of fun. I, I, I like picking those up. I should set those with the others. Um, some other stuff I'm picking up. I got a lot of um, John Diaz, Prospect for the Rays. And I got these first Bowmans. And these were uh, really affordable. And I always think that's kind of fun. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a flipper or a investor, really. But, I, you know, it's kind of fun sometimes to do some very, very moderate and modest speculating. So I kind of dig that. I just, it makes collecting kind of fun for me to have a box of prospects and rookies and stuff like that, as I'm sure a lot of you do. Similarly, Christian Javier, pitcher for the Astros. Um, shout out to Trav's um, pack polls. He was talking about him on his channel. Um, so I grabbed a couple of those. I actually, um, I haven't broken any of 2021 series one, like a lot of you, I haven't found any of it. Um, and so it would be nice to get some in the wild and break some, but I haven't done that. So kind of becoming a singles collector by default with the way that the market is and, and the availability of cards and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, another lot that I got was this lot of three, um, Devin Williams, Cy Young Award winner from the Brewers. And so this is from 2020 Update. I pulled a couple of these, and then these three I got in a lot. And I'm kind of getting in a habit now of marking the ones that I personally pulled by putting a little sticker on them, just because that's kind of fun. I think I got that idea from Elite Co. 3. Um, and then one basketball card in this um, order, and it's Mitchell Robinson. I know I've talked about him on the channel before, but this is a Donruss rated rookie. Pick this up. He's injured right now. Um, but uh, has a lot of potential, and Tom Thibodeau is real high on him, and so that's kind of a neat card, so pick that up. 
And then, if you've been watching the channel, I've been dipping my toe in hockey. And the thing about hockey that I've been picking up is Future Watch Autos. Really from about 2010, 2011 to present. I just love these designs. I love how clean the blue auto is on a white background. I love the design. Um, year over year, there's kind of a consistency, but also they change it. Um, and so these, as you see here, are from two different years. Um, just beautiful cards from Upper Deck. And so... I'm having a lot of fun picking those up. So I've got two more of those from my collection. And actually, I'll show you these. I have four more that I picked up. And I've been getting these in lots. And just gorgeous cards, I think. And trying to get them inexpensive. It, it keeps collecting. Again, fun for me. Keep my eye out for these. And uh, building up a nice little collection. So I'm having a blast doing it. So... That's it. Quick video for today. Hope you all are having a good Sunday uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.